welcome back to a new foodie vlog today i just woke up and I'm going to get ready for a pretty busy day some of you guys have seen probably already that my platform finally has its own name and honestly this was just the longest freaking process ever i'm so happy that soul sync body finally officially launched without any legal complications <laughs> that has been kind of like my days so it's been like really busy with like filming and like kind of getting everything ready in today's foodie vlog i kind of wanted to take a little bit of a moment to also celebrate it i feel sometimes i don't like celebrate the small wins so <laughs> This is a pretty big win but before that i am just gonna make a little coffee i'm gonna do an instagram live fill out this one so it will be fun that's it dirty <laughs> when we take cuts in the morning sometimes he just like jumps into stuff yeah, yeah. Just, yeah i want to see him oh my god you're so dirty baby hi hi oh that's it bye he's so Cute. Honestly, he literally gives me so much freaking happiness when I see him in the morning. Like, it's crazy. Anyway, I don't know why, but I feel today making a coffee. And I actually, I've shared this before in like a coffee talk, when it was still coffee talk, was this brand Comet here. So basically, they freeze coffee into these little pots which are completely recyclable i feel this is literally the best coffee i've had in the united states and the reason why it's so good is because they're able to freeze the beans the coffee beans on top peak flavor so it captures everything in here and it's so delicious so yeah i'm going to make a little coffee and then we get ready for today about some of the non-negotiables in the morning <laughs> first of all hydration always in the morning my journaling has become really really important i just feel it's a way of showing gratitude and actually shifting your mindset for the day and then the third one that i am really trying to incorporate more and more is actually meditation i'm not gonna lie i find meditation so freaking hard i find it really hard to like kind of <laughs> just sit there and just focus on my breath like my mind just like goes anywhere but a tool that has really helped me is actually this sensate device and i'm going to show you how i use it while i'm meditating you put it on your chest it vibrates very gently and it will calm down your whole nervous system and i can't even describe it how relaxing it is because instead of my thoughts just going anywhere my thoughts are actually with my breath and kind of with the vibration and it's just the effect is insane i'm gonna do a little session and show you how i do this i always start my meditation laying down i find it so much more comfortable than actually sitting up so through bluetooth and my phone i can connect the sensate device once the session starts it will slightly vibrate and i'm able to adjust volume and intensity you place the sensate on your chest and the sound waves are synchronized with the soundscape in the app and give you a feeling of deep relaxation. My favorite part is the vibration because it calms down your nervous system and I feel immediately that it reduces my anxiety and stress. Sometimes I use it right before bed if I have trouble sleeping so I can feel relaxed and get a good night of sleep. I actually have a special discount code for you for $25 off, which I will link down below in the description. It is available worldwide. So let's get Zen with me. So my 
my session is done I am going to a lengthy sensate in the description box as well because it has been life-changing for me all right I have to hop on a quick phone call and then I'm going to do my Instagram live for today which will be a lot of fun um, I'm gonna do an upper body workout so yeah busy busy finished my life it was so much fun the only thing is this room here doesn't get any like air conditioning um and it's actually really warm in la it's really strange i feel there is like no fall vibe going on here and i'm gonna be honest i like miss it a little bit i'm like ready for like pumpkin spice warm cozy sweaters and all of that but it's i think it's gonna be like 26 degrees today which is crazy um anyway i'm going to take a shower get ready and then we are gonna kind of as like a little celebration for soul sink body we're gonna bake like a strawberry cake my assistant is actually swedish and i saw like an inspiration of like midsummer i mean this is a long time ago in june um but i was like you know what i want to try it and i'm actually gonna challenge myself and make it vegan i often make it with like eggs and stuff but i know a lot of you want like plant-based recipes so i am going to try to do that but yeah First, we are going to fresh up. So, in a way, baking is the easiest thing ever because you just really need to follow a recipe because it's almost like science. And on the other side, baking is so hard because so much science is going into it. You have to be very precise. So, let's get prepping. ready in the oven and I thought in the meantime we can do a little Q&A to tell you a little bit more about 
you know, life, everything. Um, okay, let's see. The first question. <laughs> actually like this what is it like working with your boyfriend do you fight so Max and I have been working together kind of like on and off uh, when I started doing YouTube he was helping me a lot and you know when I was stepping a little bit more into social media he was like managing a lot of it and in that relationship it was pretty tough because it almost felt like you know we were working for one end of each other and it was just wasn't very like healthy for the relationship but when we kind of stopped that and then a year later we started working together on Ekohama it actually worked really well with Ekohama it's like we're working together on almost like our baby it's like our business in the other way it was more like it was focused on my business only and I don't know it was a complete different dynamic and it's sometimes tough but we do have some separation and like a, he has a little office and I work at home so that is definitely a good tip I can give you if you're working with your partner to create some type of physical space throughout the day oh my god is your teeth real they're very nice okay I think I've literally never shared this but I actually have tiny tiny teeth and they're absolutely they were so horrendous when I was like 16 years old I needed braces and they actually put facings here the front ones to make them a little bigger because they were so small and this was not even just for cosmetic reasons this was actually because they were like <laughs> you're gonna have a lot of problems if you don't do it so yeah my teeth are actually not not real let's see what else do we got are their workouts constantly updating yes so at first there is two week pilates program there's a hit workout program beginner program and i will be uploading every week three new workout videos and this will be constant flow i want to hear from you like what you're needing maybe will be different workouts throughout summer for winter maybe different times of the month i'm definitely like uploading every time new workouts innovating finding new things and kind of like growing together there are you Pilates certified? Yes, I am actually Pilates certified. Thanks to quarantine and COVID, I took the time to do my Pilates certification here in LA, which was a lot of fun. I did it at Karen Lord Studio. I know a lot of you have asked it. It was so much fun to do actually together with Jason, who is going to do a meditation program on the platform as well, probably in the fall. So that will be really awesome. Let's do a couple more. Do you do intermittent fasting and your thoughts about it? I wouldn't say it's intermittent fasting, it's more intuitive fasting. Did intermittent fasting for quite a long period of time, but honestly now I just really eat when I feel like it. So sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I don't feel like having breakfast and I just, you know, start eating brunch at like noon. But sometimes I wake up and I have worked out before or the night before or I'm just like in a recovery and I really crave breakfast I will have breakfast so it really kind of depends day by day I do it sometimes that's it um, do you lift weights progressive overloading or sticking to a more gentle routine so I am sticking more to a gentle routine like Pilates walking all of that I just noticed my body just feels so much better um, but in combination I do sometimes a little bit of weights in the gym like once or twice a week just to build up a little bit of strength but I don't do it like every day because I just noticed that I don't know my body just gets a little like stressed and very tense of it and i don't really love it that's why i prefer to do more like a gentle type of workouts i also feel i can be more like i can be more consistent with it if that makes sense because when i ever hit like heavy weights i'm like so sore the next day or like i feel so tired the next day that i can't really do it consistently while with a gentle workout i can and at the end for me personally that works better let's see favorite healthy super quick meals love that one Okay, my chia seed pudding is like my number one right now. I've shared so many recipes of these. I think the kind of like breakfast tacos or for lunch tacos, I just have like wraps with like eggs and just like veggies with sriracha, love it. Then for dinner, I love just grilled veggies, rice and like salmon or rice and um, grilled veggies and tofu. Let's see what else, frittata, I've been eating also a lot. They're really nice. <laughs> Would you ever consider having a podcast? We'd love to hear your stories, health tips, and insights. 
Uh, one of my friends actually made a little joke. He's like, Sana, when are you starting your podcast? I would love to, but I feel that is taking on a little bit too much right now. You know, I'm like trying to balance my time between personal life, Nekohama, Sana Flu Clap form and then just like social media in general and just you know also having like a healthy work-life balance so i feel that is not um that possible um can pilates help lose weight and increase height so pilates does not increase height whenever we're saying like lengthening the muscles we're not talking about like actually physically like <laughs> extending the height can pilates help lose weight it can definitely help lose weight as it is a type of movement and any type of movement can help lose weight but like any type of workout it's not just the pilates what is going to help you lose weight it will be a combination of several healthy habits you need to install sleeping enough going to bed early drinking enough water having a healthy and clean diet is super important and then on top of that it will be your workout whether that is like pilates or walking or more like weight training so i think that is very important to know what you often definitely hear is that people love tend to do pilates because it doesn't like bulk up or like inflame the muscles as much um, as like other like heavy high intensity workouts so yeah okay i feel my bread is red bread my cake is almost ready to be done so i'm going to check on it and we are going to make it The base of our cake is ready. Now we just need to let it cool down a little. And then in the meantime, we're going to make some of the frosting. I am so excited to try it. I've actually never made vegan cakes. I always use eggs. So I'm kind of excited to switch it up and to try something different. And I'm really curious how the texture is going to work out. But we shall see. We're going to make some frosting. <laughs> 